Yeah. Well, this is just at least just the only injection. After that is what you really want to see anyways. You doing okay? Yeah. in and out. Just one more, okay? Let me know if you feel this at all. Got anything there? Uh -uh. Okay, good. We are done. Wow, that didn't hurt as bad as the last time. <laughs> Clean it off a couple times here. It's amazing how numb you can get something. <laughs> With the right meds. <laughs> how long did the numbness last last time? Oh, probably at least five hours. All right? Mm -hmm. My sister, she had to have a toe, a part of her bone removed in one of her toes. Mm -hmm. Man, she's having all kinds of issues getting that to heal. I, Is, said, I hope I don't have to ever have that. Does she have any kind of history of anything? No. Smoker or anything? Oh, yeah. yeah so smoking, she smoking doesn't now, but she definitely uh, delay healing overall wise. Oh. If there's something that she hasn't done in a while or anything, it shouldn't affect it that much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is something that can occur though. They said it could take eight weeks for it to really heal up. Six to eight weeks for a bone to heal. Yeah. If she's really swelling bad. Yeah. I said, man, I hope I don't ever have to do <laughs> We got the same kind of toes. <laughs> I don't know why they had to take part of that toe out. It was like on this toe, the one next to the big one. Was it like infected or anything like that? Did you mm -hmm. know? No. Something like that. I don't know what, why she had to have it done. I think if I couldn't feel it, I could watch it, but I can't. No, I understand. <laughs> Sometimes people can draw blood from other people, but they can't see it themselves, you know? Yeah. Doing okay? Uh-huh. Don't feel a thing. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good thing. <laughs> I was just so shocked that it didn't hurt. I mean, I just expected to have to take Tylenol or something. <laughs> well, hopefully it's the same way this time. Yeah, I'm sure it will be.
Have you ever heard of Dr. Walker? Dr. Lee Walker? Dr. Walker, yes. He's our family doctor. Family doctor. I'm is telling he? you, he is awesome. He is. I, I've met him a couple times. Really outgoing person. Yeah. Explaining stuff. And he's busy, too. Oh, Very yes. Uh, I, I went like to his office just said, go say hi, just introduce yeah. himself. And he took time out. He, was, he just explained stuff and things like that. I can tell by a lot of his patients, because he sends a lot of his patients to me. Yeah. His patients come first. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I, he doesn't have much of a life. I mean, it's... It's, he goes to the hospital and sees you. I mean, Even at midnight. Yeah. I mean, it's his life, you can tell. Yeah. We don't hardly hear doctors doing that anymore. No, sure. He's the yeah, he's old school, he says. Huh? He says he's old school. Yeah. He's just so thorough. I mean, he does blood work that not all doctors do, and he's yeah. just very thorough. Yeah, I, I get a lot of his, even diabetic patients and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They'll come see me for diabetic shoes and things like that. And so yeah. It's nice because, you know, he explains to them that you know, they shouldn't be trimming their nails because being a diabetic and stuff like that, you got to be careful. Uh, so, see, you should be See, coming. senor. <laughs> You're a diabetic? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You should be coming here. He's scared, I think. What am I scared of? I mean, well, after watching this procedure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with uh, ingrown toenails either. No, no, but you, when you cut your nails, you just barely take anything off. Take and what's needed. So long. Well, if you have trouble trimming your nails and things like that, you know, I, I definitely do that, and I, I take the thickness of the nail down and all that stuff as well. No, nah, this uh, is real thick. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes if you have calluses and things like that, too, you know, we treat that as well. So, and at least just being a diabetic, having at least one diabetic foot exam a year might, might just be beneficial just to kind of make sure everything's okay in that same sense. Yeah, because when you're diabetic, it's, it's, your feet doesn't, I mean, don't you have to really be careful with your feet? Yes, especially if you have neuropathy and things like that as well. Yeah, and he does. That's another bit, main thing. Just kind of check your feet on a daily well, basis. Don't go barefooted and things like that. My diabetic doctor wasn't that concerned for it, so. For the neuropathy? Yeah, when I told her. She's from India, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sweet lady. Who's your... Uh... Dr. Gerarthi. Gerarthi. Okay. Gerarthi, Gerarthi. I don't know exactly how you say it either, but... Archuleta. Jurathy. I, I really think a lot of the Indian doctors are um, better doctors. I don't know why, but they seem to be. They all seem to have really good bedside manner. Yeah. Dry dry. You don't have to put this much on like how last time. Yeah. <laughs> Just because we did something today, that's the only reason I do that. stuff is amazing. Yeah, the Coban. Whoever come out with that, they knew what they were doing. They use it on uh, horse hooves and stuff. Oh. Uh-huh.
whoever invented it didn't have to worry about where his next meal is coming from. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like you got potato toe. <laughs> You know, it was strange. My my toe didn't hurt, but about the third or fourth day later, right on top, I don't know if that's where you put the needle in. Probably where I put the needle in. Oh my probably, goodness, yeah. it hurt. All of a sudden, it just started hurting. Yeah, that, that, that that's probably because of the needle, though. But that's it. We're done. And, um, you know, we'll see you back in a week, and we'll I'll give you the post-op instructions again, like how we did last time.